Hi everyone and welcome to your daily devotional for Tuesday, July 28th, 2020. It is good to be with you. It has now been four and a half months that we have been in isolation, that the church has been closed. In some ways it feels like much longer and in some ways it's flown by. Think about how things have changed in the last four months, where you have been and where you think we are going as you prepare to be filled with God's Spirit. We begin today by turning to Psalm 65. We'll be reading verses 8 through 13. And this reading and all of the readings come from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. Those who dwell on the far edges stand in awe of your acts. You make the gateways of morning and evening sing for joy. You visit the earth and make it abundant, enriching it greatly by God's stream full of water. You provide people with grain because that's what you've decided drenching the earth's furrows leveling its ridges you soften it with rain showers you bless its growth you crown the year with your goodness your path overflows with rich food even the desert pastures drip with it and the hills are dressed in pure joy the meadowlands are covered with flocks the valleys decked out in grain they shout for joy they break out in song. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, help me turn my life over to you that I might live and serve you with all my days. Be with me in every breath I take and every moment that passes. May I find strength and courage in your presence as I breathe in your spirit and to face the impossible. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from 1 Kings chapter 4, verses 29 through 34. Listen for God's word. And God gave Solomon wisdom and very great understanding, insight as long as the seashore itself. Solomon's wisdom was greater than all the famous Easterners, greater even than all the wisdom of Egypt. He was wiser than anyone, more wise than Ethan the Ezraite, or Mahal's sons, Heman, Calcol, and Darda. His reputation was known throughout the region. Solomon spoke 3,000 proverbs and 1,005 songs. He described the botany of trees, whether the cedar in Lebanon or the hyssop that grows out of the wall. He also described cattle birds, anything that crawls on the ground, and fish. People came from everywhere to listen to Solomon's wisdom. Even the earth's kings who had heard about his wisdom came. Solomon is obviously known for his wisdom. Who is the wisest person that you've ever known? Give thanks for them today. Our New Testament reading today comes from the letter to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Listen again for God's word. Finally, be strengthened by the Lord and his powerful strength. Put on God's armor so that you can make a stand against the tricks of the devil. We aren't fighting against human enemies, but against rulers, authorities, forces of cosmic darkness, and spiritual powers of evil in the heavens. Therefore, pick up the full armor of God so that you can stand your ground on the evil day 
and after you have done everything possible to still stand. So stand with the belt of truth around your waist, justice as your breastplate, and put shoes on your feet so that you are ready to spread the good news of peace. Above all, carry the shield of faith so that you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is God's word. Offer prayers and petitions in the spirit at all times. Stay alert by hanging in there and praying for all believers. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. If you were to add one piece to your armor of God, what would it be? Let us pray. Lord of justice and righteousness, bring me face to face with what I would rather keep hidden. Show me the shackles to unbind and the chains to break so that I may work with you to bring forth new life and hope where there instead has been death and despair. Amen. Friends, as a good steward of the grace of God, go and serve one another with grace upon grace. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. I'll see you tomorrow.